Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you guys over how I curl my hair. Um, obviously this is not the final result. This is the before and we're going to get to a really nice wavy after. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. It's really simple and basically once I show you the first few steps, the rest is all just doing the same thing. Um, so you'll see that. So I'm going to be using this here. This is my VS Sassoon total protection ceramic intense i don't know if that means anything to anyone but you can see it's a bit uh thinner at the top and thicker at the bottom and it's got multiple heat adjustments as well so you can see there it's actually on already um i put mine on the highest setting which i'm guessing is probably not good for your hair so probably i think like 185 degrees is better I have very thick hair, so I need the heat to get through it all. I've already pre-brushed my hair, so I'm going to take a section. I usually do three sections. So I'm going to take a big chunk. I'll show you. So you can see there roughly how much I've taken. And I literally just put that up. So I'm going to take little bit more there and just a little bit more here now there's absolutely no science to this I go off kind of like how much I feel should be in there so what I do from here is I divide in half so that's about half on either side and from here I'm going to divide each of these they're going to get divided into probably three or four chunks I'm going to brush again because my hair, you can hear that, is notorious for just getting knotty for absolutely no reason. So I'm going to take a chunk like this and get the curler and wrap it around and try keep it, see how it's flat, not like twisted or anything? So keep it on flat and then if you haven't gone high enough, you can always roll that up a bit. And I just like to count to 10. You can also be really careful with this. I put my finger a little bit on my head just to make sure it's not burning too much. So then I let go and I take this out. I have a little like stool at the end so I can like put it down so it gets a little tangled on the hair. And then I hold it for a little bit. So I scrunch it up like that. And then I just put it at the back because I'm done with that section. So again, holding the hair to be more flat. And then counting to 10. But please, when you put your finger on your hair, be really, really careful. I don't want anyone to touch the barrel. Like, oh my God, do not touch the barrel. If you do not trust yourself, do not do it. So I'll show you guys how it works on the other side. Or at least how I try to make it work. My left hand is like really special. I just can't do anything. So you don't have to start front. You can start back. You can start top. You can start bottom. And sometimes you'll find one side you might have taken a bit more hair than the other. So do an extra extra curl. This side might need five. The other might need... Well, we did four. So four. So now we want it to face, obviously, the other way. And as you can see, it's a lot less flat just because it's a different hand doing it for me. And that cord, yes, is in my face. <laughs> I literally just can't get that thing out again. So take that curl back, hold it down, and back. So we can see here, this is what it's looking like so far. You can put your fingers through to loosen the curls up a little bit. I don't like to do anything until the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them all forward whilst I let the next layer of my hair come out. So I'm going to take the new hair, hold it up, put the one that's done up the back, and then split the two sections again. And we're literally just going to do the exact same thing as before. <laughs> We can see 
there what the top's looking like it's getting a bit thicker and more voluminous all right and then the final layer so with this one you want to make sure that your part is where you want it to be don't worry about how far back the part goes like if you want it to stop there whatever it doesn't matter let it go back and we'll fix that later i've let my um curler go down from 200 to 185 degrees just because these bits are quite thin and quite small so i don't think i need the extra heat and it would just be damaging my hair and just make sure that the hair is wrapped tightly around you don't want any like baubles coming off or anything because it's just not going to be as nice when you let it go now to be honest i treat the front parts exactly the same as the rest so i'll just curl that and then if there's any kind of faults or it's not sitting right i deal with that all at the end so you can see it's sitting all very quite tight which i personally like because i'd rather loosen it up than have to do more <laughs> What I do now is I look for bits that didn't really get done. So here I can see a little bit. Didn't really. And you can separate those curls up if it's just half that aren't good. Obviously by the time you come around to this, it's cold as well. Um, you wouldn't want to do a curl really hot and it's not enough. And then redo it hot because you might burn your hair. And, you know, nobody want that. So once I'm happy with how it is, um, even if it's too cold, I will. I'm going to start teasing from the back just to give it a bit of volume. So I'm just taking a chunk of hair and going down. So I'm not going up, down, up, down. I'm actually just going top, down. <laughs> it from here what you could do is if you're not happy with the front or something you can recurl so if I go oh, I want it to start a bit higher we can just kind of redo those bits and not wrap it the whole way around see so it's starting to curl there a bit more now what you can do is run your fingers through or some people do like to get a brush and brush through a little bit so I'm not going to do it fully now because I don't want it to take that much out but I like to do it a little bit with my fingers so it's more of that kind of natural look. And then of course, hairspray as well, if you like. So that'll just help it hold longer. So that is basically how I get my waves. Uh, whether it be more messy or more tight, it's the same technique as I said, just matters how many times you run your fingers through or you brush through your hair. Of course, you can do tighter curls with a smaller barrel. I'm using the larger barrel actually. Mine came with two, that is the larger one. I'm going to wrap this all up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye.